Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Planner. In this module, we're going to look how to create your own plans, how to create tasks within plans, how to create buckets and how to maneuver things around within Planner. So Planner is part of Office 365 and you can get it through the apps and you can see mine's there, but if it's not there on yours, you can just go and search for it through all apps and then use it as you need. So first of all, you can see we have new plan as an option. I'll just get rid of that for a second. Planner hub. These are all my plans. And then tasks that are allocated to me are listed in this view. And the ones I've completed, you can see down this right hand side of the screen. So if I go back to the planner hub and let's open this one. So you can see how this works. So you have a series of what are called buckets which you can rename if you so wish by using these three little dots. Rename, delete or move. So to do started 50% complete and completed. And you can see under the completed is a little drop down list that expands or collapses to show or hide the completed tasks. Tasks that are ongoing are in this bucket and you can move tasks by just dragging them like so and you can complete tasks by ticking them and then that moves in to complete. Well, it does when you drag it there. It doesn't move it automatically. And now we've got complete. And this one is ongoing. If I go into this task, you can see all the details of this task. And I've got this little tick box um, activated so it shows this information in the card. Now, if I go back into this, that's the card view. You've also got um, charts and schedule. It's called a board, even though that says show on card. Charts just gives you a graph, like a des desktop Excel sort of dashboard. Tasks not started in progress, late and completed. That's the breakdown started, completed, etc, etc. And then you've got it by person, allocated person. So Alana's late on this task, but she's completed that one. So this is the chart view. And then you've got a schedule view where it gives you the calendar and when these tasks are due. Assuming that you put any dates on them. If you didn't put any dates, it won't show there. So if I go back to board, and back to the planner hub and create a new plan so let's call this new plan it faults um, private only members can uh, can add or see the plans or public and then you've got options group description so it's like um, let's put windows 10 rollout for example um, private only members can see the plans create plan now I could have added that to a, a group that's already set up um, and then you've got your buckets here now what I'm going to do is rename this straight away to issue so it's not to do it's issue so I want people to create a task when it's issue. And then the bucket name for the first bucket is going to be allocated. 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 And then what you can do then is start adding the buckets that you want. So I want a new bucket. This is going to be in progress. And then I want another one that's going to be service desk. So anything that's passed to the service desk, I want it to go in there. And then the last one, I want it to be complete. Completed. Like so. So you create a new task. So first task, let's say task name is um, software center. not loading and then you can 
set a due date so it's due today and I'm going to assign that to myself and then click away add that task so software center not loading if I click into that it gives you more details and you can add extra so labels add label um, let's say that's a red label and we want some description here so this is the fault really so um, loads but hangs for 20 minutes that'll do I want that showing on the card it's not started urgent and then you can send it to different people so let's just close that down so lows but hangs typo let's just change that and then close that off now the way that should work is um, it's been allocated so I can move it to there so they could have more than one let's add another task um, what can this be um, screen issue um, set a due date today and assign that to Alana assign it to, yeah assign an ad I'll give it to her so she can do it and okay so then if I go into that put some more information in um, can't add two monitors can't add two monitors um, urgent again I want that to be shown on the card and that'll do close that oh no let's do a color let's do that as pink as well close that so these are both oh well that's red that's pink so what should happen is I've allocated that so that should now go across to allocated if these people start doing it what they should do is they should move it into in progress and go into it and put it down as in progress if it's not already so this one is allocated not in progress but if I move it into in progress go into it it's now in progress so you can see how that works and then if this can't be fixed you could move that into service desk for going to it it's now on service desk and in progress so it's in progress it's in service desk now if they complete it you can either tick complete and move that into the completed end but it's completed so it hides it and then say this one just gets completed you tick that and then oh, move it first and then tick it it's up to you then you've got those showing in the completed column book it so we'll do one more so add a task we'll call this um, close lid and we'll do a set of due date today sign type somebody else who's not a member so it's asking me is a member of this plan assign and add them to this plan yep and I'll also type in somebody else they can do it Tom Saxton he can do it and assign him to this plan and close lid is okay and that'll do so add task get into it put the details in so when I close the lid my computer goes off easy to fix I want that in the card I want the label to be I should use green for complete really but I'll go red 
and I'm gonna close those off. That's it. I don't want any of that. I have to, oh yeah, let's go for important, not urgent. And that'll do. Close that. All right, and then once it's been allocated, these two people have picked it up. They put it into allocated. It changed to allocated, and I'm now going to put it as in progress. Close. Move it to in progress. So open it. It's in progress. It says that there as well. And then it may well get complete or it may go to the service desk. It goes to the service desk. Go into it. It's in the service desk. In progress. Important. I'll just leave it like that for a minute. Because I want to quickly look at the other options. So we've got charts. So we can see that we've got two completed. None of them are laid. One in progress. And there's a graph to show that. And then you've got the people that are allocated to this plan down the bottom there. And you can see coming up what's happening in terms of service desk and the completed. If I go to schedule, you'll see that the only one that's scheduled is there. And the two more have been completed. So basically, that is how Planner works. If I go back to the Planner Hub, this now becomes part of that. And I can tick this. So it's one of my favorites. And there you can see it as a favorite. So that's all I wanted to talk about this time on Planner. Hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.